Hello everyone, the Public Works program has now released a number of enhancements and bug fixes. In this video overview, I will share the new ECPR updates and I'll provide an overview of the bug fixes. These improvements are now active in the Public Works LETF system and they have enhanced both manual ECPR submissions and XML submissions. First on the list today is the improved functionality of adding projects to your dashboard. Previously, you could only search by project name and there could be many projects with the same name, such as maintenance work. So by clicking request addition to a project team, you would have to click in this box and search for your project name. So if you were to search for maintenance work, you would see several projects with the same project name and awarding body. Now you can search for DIR project ID. So now you have a clear indication that project ID 20240526965 for Shasta Lake for Gateway Unified School District is the exact project that you're seeking to add yourself to. In the next box, you just enter your business name and click submit. Now, as you can see, the project name has appeared on your dashboard. Next on the list today is a number of changes on the manual ECPR form. Let's navigate to the manual ECPR form. For this update, on this payroll setup page, there is no field to indicate the business or contractor that you're contracting with or the awarding body that hired you. Now, as you can see, there's a new field called contract with. So you can add the awarding body that hired you, such as the city of Sacramento, or you can add the contractor that hired you. And you can search by either the public works contractor registration number or the business name. So one example of how this would be used is for the subcontractors out there, such as the trucking industry that provide material supplies to other contractors. So now the trucking industry contractors can select who they are providing the material supplies to. Another example, is when subcontractors need to add the general contractor that hired them. And lastly, a general contractor can add the awarding body that hired them. The data you enter in the contract with field will now populate on your ECPR PDF export as well. Now let's take a look at the manual ECPR field and form changes. Along the way, I'll call out some areas where you may be having issues with submitting your ECPRs. So some users have reported that they are unable to get to the next step as the button is grayed out. Common areas that the user fails to submit information into are the check number, which is a required field, and the classification. So there are examples where there's crafts that do not have a classification, such as landscape maintenance labor. If there is no classification, you still have to select from this dropdown the other box and then enter classification not applicable. This will help you clear this page and get to the next screen. One change on the manual ECPR is the fringe benefit section. You can now select whether you pay the fringes to a fringe benefit plan for your workers or whether you pay the fringe benefit contribution in cash directly to the worker. We do recognize that there are circumstances where you may be paying a combination of both to a benefit plan and in cash to the worker. And so we will be working to add a third button here that indicates both. For now, if you have that situation, please indicate on this toggle fringe benefit plan and down below in the employee notes, explain that the fringes are paid to both a fringe benefit plan and to the employee in cash. Regardless of what option you select, the fields below do not change. Previously, the fields did change based on what you selected for the fringe benefit contributions, but today they do not change. So you are still able to enter the same information on the same layout of fields for the prevailing wage rates. As you can see, some of the labels for the fields have been abbreviated to allow for space because there are new columns added to this section. There is now a section called other, a section called OT, DT, total overtime hourly rate and total double time hourly rate. 
The overtime section here is 1.5 times your base hourly rate, typically. The double time is typically two times the base hourly rate. The total overtime hourly rate is the overtime rate plus the entire fringe contribution package. The total double time hourly rate is the double time base hourly rate plus the fringe benefit package. In the next section for the deductions, we have received feedback that there are additional deductions besides what is listed in the available fields. For example, garnishments. If you have additional fields that are not here, please add them to the total. For example, if you have $10 in garnishments, you would add $10 to the $85 here. And down below in the comments, please indicate that $10 garnishment. Now for the travel and subsistence payments, the data entered here was not adding to the gross wages for the project. For the latest fix and updates for the system, travel and subsistence payments is now added to the gross amount. As we export the ECPR PDF, you'll now see that the contractor or awarding body that you entered in the contract with field is now displaying on the section here. Additionally, please note that on the ECPR PDF export, the total straight time hourly rate is indicated at the end of the S row as indicating straight time. The total overtime hourly rate is indicated at the end of the row for O indicating overtime. And the total double time hourly rate is indicated at the end of the row that starts with the letter D, which stands for double time. Again, total overtime hourly rates and total double time hourly rates are the overtime hourly rate plus the fringes or the double time hourly rate plus the fringes. Returning to the list of updates, the amend button has now been updated to the text amend manual ECPR. Previously, the system showed that the button is called amend. Now the button has been relabeled amend manual ECPR. In addition, the Upload New ECPR button has now been changed to Upload slash Amend XML ECPR. Now users can amend either a manual ECPR or an XML. But let's review the new changes in uploading or amending an XML ECPR. First, save this information on your dashboard. You'll need it when you proceed to the next screen. You'll first start by clicking the new button here. You'll enter your business here. And now this is the new field that we've added, contract with. So you'll enter the awarding body or the contractor you're contracting with. In this example, we'll select City of Sacramento. Next, as we previously indicated, you can now search by DIR project ID number instead of searching for project name. A new functionality is for amending an ACPR here. If you select yes, you can now search for the payroll that you want to amend. Please note that you'll need to save the payroll run number that you're seeking to amend before proceeding to this screen. Now let's upload an XML file. In today's demo, we'll use the XML notepad and display the XML file that we're attempting to upload. The one validation the system will check for is the project ID. So make sure this number here for the project ID matches the project ID you're uploading this XML to. We'll enter 2024-0526-965. We've also updated the XML submission. Previously, if you did not enter a comma between any worker's first and last name on the XML file, the name would be blank on the XML PDF export. Now, whether you put a comma or not, the name will appear on your ECPR export. Next, let's take a deeper look into the XML ECPR. When it comes to the fringe benefits, contributions, and deductions section of the XML, some of you are entering the dollar amounts incorrectly on your schema, leading to mistakes on your ECPR PDFs. Fringe benefits, contributions, and dues should be listed as hourly amounts on your XML file. However, deductions are not to be listed in hourly amounts, but rather in total amounts. 
On the left side of the screen is an example XML file. In this example XML, the dues were not listed as hourly amounts of $2.58 per hour. On the right side of the screen is the ECPR manual review screen of the XML file that was submitted. As a result, the total hourly rates have ballooned to $157.48 per hour, which is incorrect. Again, please make sure to list French benefits contributions as hourly values on your XML schema file. And please make sure to list deductions as total amounts instead of hourly amounts. Now, if the dues are a deduction, please leave the dues field blank. Then add the amount of the dues to the total deduction field and list the dollar amounts of the dues in the employee notes section. The system will also notify you now, the XML may take three minutes or so. This side of the screen, we are waiting for confirmation that the file was successfully uploaded. The system will also display an error message if the file fails to upload. The message will state contractor slash project information selected on the form does not match with XML data. Request cannot be fulfilled. Please note, these are not the only reasons for the XML file to fail. While typically the failure is due to having the incorrect DIR project ID number on the XML file, there may be other reasons such as having the wrong template file or having fields accidentally deleted or missing from the user's XML file. Please double check your XML file to ensure all the fields in the schema are listed and also check that the DIR project ID exactly matches the DIR project ID on your dashboard. As you can see, the system displays that the data was transformed successfully, meaning that the XML upload was successful. Another update to the system is displayed here. As you can see, there's a column called amendments. If you submitted an amendment, the screen would display zero, even though there was one amendment. Now this is correctly adding the amendment number to your dashboard view. But please note, if you are amending more than one time on a particular ECPR, some of the ECPR fields may be incorrect as the values will be pulling from the original ECPR and not the last successful amendment. Additionally, draft ECPRs no longer block your ability to submit ECPRs. We are working to add an ability for you to delete drafts in the near future, and that will be coming in a later system update. This concludes the list of changes for this round of Public Works system updates. Thank you.